And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the reckoning. Who's ready to reckon? That is our, uh, that's what our deck's all about. This reckoning is if you have a five plus power ally, kill all units with four or less power. Pretty sweet one sided board wrath. And our deck's all about playing things with five plus power. Because we also have Stormclaw. Again, giving all of our 5-plus power allies Overwhelm. And then we have Trifarian Assessor. Draw one for each 5-plus power ally you have. So we're playing all sorts of things with 5-plus power. Um, that means that we could get run over by aggro decks. And like Reckless Trifarian is a big part of this, being the, the only 3-drop with 5-plus power. But Reckless Trifarian can't block. So we can't play any defense with that card. So we, we got Avalanches in here to help clear the board for us. Trifarian Glory Seeker does have five power, but we're going to be mostly using it as a removal spell. But sometimes on turn six, we can like play this first and then play Assessor. You know, we can double spell like that. Another card I'm going with to be kind of a cheap sweeper and uh, for us is Ember Maiden. Round start deal one to everything. That can also be really important for the plunder effect for the Ursine Spirit Walker as well. Um... We're not really trying to damage the enemy Nexus in five different rounds. You know, that could happen, but that's not really what we're trying to do. Sejuani is just a, a big overwhelm creature. Give something vulnerable. Good thing to play. Since we're playing a whole bunch of big creatures, of course, we also have Hearthguard that we can play this and pump up things in our deck even more. Then we're playing three Mites to give them overwhelm. That's our trick. And trying to just smash. That is our goal for our deck. Going big. Go big or go home. We're going big. All right, let's go. Let's go play five games over in ranked with this new deck. The Reckoning. Karma Lux. Definitely play a bunch of Will of Ionias to bounce large creatures, which is a bummer. Kind of want to keep all of these. We don't do anything turn one, turn two. We'll just save three spell mana to have for later on, I suppose. And then go Trifarian, Awakener, Hearth Guard, and then Assessor. And draw, draw a bunch of cards. Best draw would be Omen Hawk off the top. Not quite Omen Hawk. Not quite Omen Hawk. Really didn't want to draw those. Like, we, we already have stuff that we're going to be doing those points of the game, but oh well. Well, ours doesn't block, so we might as well attack. Which just would like turn like all spirit walkers into the Stormclaw. Ugh. Card's good. Doing. 
Grizzled Ranger is pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. Don't know if y'all have seen that card before. Ah, quit your yapping. All right, fine. I'll quit my yapping. How you doing? Dang, don't have to be rude about it. Ah, shut up. How wow. So ah, rude. Shut up. Ah, quit your yapping. It's a rude mouth on this little guy. How you doing? Basically, our four drop, five drop just kind of actually like trades with Grizzled Ranger completely if they just let the trades happen. It's kind of a problem with these two cards. Like, this isn't a good card to play on their turn because you don't have plunder, and this isn't this isn't really that good of a card to play on their turn either. I'm gonna try doing this. After they played Lux. I was probably gonna be, be playing Sejuani, but once they played Lux, let's just do this instead. No. I think that was worth a try. Cause that would have would have been great. Yeah, it's likely game. Don't have an answer for unyielding spirit. Like, I don't regret going for it though, because the the upside was just was just huge. You know, like that was it's definitely a way to win the game. I think that overall, I probably play to scared a lot of the time, and so I don't mind going for it. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Maybe have something to do on turn one or turn two? Nope. All right, that's not bad. I'll help out. Too late, Omen Hawk. You're too late. What do you want? I think it's worth keeping this thing alive because of how hard it hits. I'm not sure about Ancient Yeti in the deck. I haven't really decided how much I like Ancient Yeti or not. You know, like, it's the kind of card that if it's in your opener. I think you're looking at like turn four, you get to play it as a 5-5 Overwhelm. 
Which that does sound pretty good. So this is Radiant Guardian if I block. So I'll take I'll take the damage. Because the only reason to attack there is wanting like life steal Radiant Guardian, right? And just have a tough Radiant Guardian. Because you know an attack like that, like a four four into a five five, you gotta think like, what are they doing? Like, why why are they attacking? And a tough Radiant Guardian would be problematic. Certainly. Hmm. Nothing can stop me. Let the light guide you. Cut him down. Never back down from what you All right, here we go. Send them on, sending them on in. Save Trifer do I save this thing, Reckless Trifarian, or do I keep Elixir? I guess it'd make more sense to save this one, because we'd have two toughness. That one we'd have one toughness. I wanted to keep I wanted to keep the elixir of iron up instead of playing the other hawk. I wanted to have that ability. Still a good chance we lose this. We'll we'll see. Cause it's weird because I can't really block because of Radiant Guardian, but I guess I guess we do have Sejuani now that can that can take out the life steal from Sej from Radiant Guardian on my turn. Because we know they have that card. Alright. It's going to make life more difficult because that gets a final spark as well. Lux is pretty good. Hmm. Another problem with Agent Yeti is drawing it later on. You know, like if you know, because we're of course playing like Trifarian Assessors, and so like if we have like Assessor draw a whole bunch of cards, you don't really want to be drawing into Ancient Yetis because they cost so much mana. Don't think we're gonna win this. I think our chance of them was whenever we had the might. I think that was our best chance. But now, like, yeah, it's just too many cards. What's up, Rankler?
William. Boo. And still don't think we're winning this. I wonder if I should put, and I've, I've thought about this, I thought about this earlier today when I was making this deck. I wonder, yeah, man, we're just drawing these ancient yetis. They're so bad late, aren't they? Yeah, this is likely over. What do you think of, like, Blade's Edge in this deck? thought about that because of the Stormclaw Ursine that needs... Um, that needs you to be able to trigger Plunder. And then just against Aggro, you'd have Blade's Edge. It would probably be some of these, like, Yetis that I'd... That's, how, that's where we'd find the room for it. But I, yeah, I wonder... What do y'all think of Blade's Edge? Play Katarina that makes Blades Edge also. I'm not I'm only playing three champions. So I could go with Katarina instead of the Yeti. Even though Katarina doesn't really fit our um, reckoning game plan, but I guess if Katarina's if you're picking Katarina back up, because she makes that that uh, Blades Edge. So attacking doesn't win the game. So I have to play stuff. But if I play stuff, I lose. Because of this combo. So I lose if I attack, I lose if I play things. But basically the game's over. It's been over for a while though. Since the health potion. Ancient Yeti did look real bad because we were drawing him late, but it's a it's a card that could be really good if we have it early. I want to I want to give it some more tries because it could be really really good if we have it early, being able to let it go down to you know like one two mana and double spelling with it because that's going to be something that's key for our deck. I mean, the Overwhelm doesn't... Yeah, I mean, they they just block fairly easily. But I guess they have to, they'd block with Karma or Lux, but... Alright, so yeah, here, we got the Ancient Yeti early. Get rid of this. Um, get rid of... Maybe we want to keep that Might, actually. Do I want to get rid of Awakener? Come on, three mana, five, four. Yeah, we're not in the easy bracket. Yeah, versus Swim Now and versus, versus BBG before. We're not in the easy bracket. Probably game. Getting three of my cards at a reduced cost. We'll see. 
<laughs> Node. Reckless Trifarian, I need you the turn before. Not this turn. Maybe they drew all the Reckonings. Ooh, what if they drew, like, multiple Reckonings? So we get to go, like, Hearthguard, then Hearthguard. Make some big stuff. You think you think they're gonna nerf pilfered goods in two weeks? I'm just I'm skeptical that any new cards are getting nerfed in two weeks. I think the most likely out of anything is Grizzled Ranger. But I'm just skeptical that they would they're like that basically that the cards that get released that early will be nerfed. But that could also just be, you know, me being used to magic and thinking about like how what like wizards would do. Wizards does like they don't want to admit quote-unquote mistakes maybe riot's not like that maybe riot um realizes that they're not perfect and and will do that because like for example grizzled ranger is just on a different level <laughs> you want yasuo to get buffed again Could happen. Yep, they yoinked my glory seeker. That's a good yoink too. One mana removal for a 5-5. Five five. It's perfect against my deck. You can't kill can't kill a five five for anything like for better than a one mana trade. Like that took up my whole turn. They got to triple spell, including killing my one drop or my five drop. Um I'm going to double spell with the Trifarians. My Omen Hawk, no. What's up, Silky Mints? This allows me to, the next turn, double spell with these two. So that was another card stole was the might. Our things are just really big. The thing about Yasuo, see, I don't think Yasuo needs to be buffed at all. I think Yasuo is a really, really good champion. The problem is, is when you don't draw Yasuo. When the Yasuo deck has Yasuo and Yasuo stays around, it's really good. It's just kind of the rest of the deck when you don't have Yasuo. I don't think you can really just keep making the champion better. I became a soldier. We fight for one frail yard. My hearth guards are, of course, just pumping up my stuff. For swim to take. Stand and defend. They're tight.
Don't have removal. No, don't have removal. Make it rain. All right, so make it rain will do three damage, which will level up Swain. Okay, so it's still go to zero, so I guess I don't even have to play these mites. Yeah, because even with the leveled up Swain blocking the overwhelm. But why is he not blocking the thing that doesn't have overwhelm? I couldn't even just make this block over here and stayed alive? Like, I, I had might, but still. This block just... Didn't work. Okay. There we go. We got a win. Did you see how good that Ancient Yeti was, though? Um, you know, just being a one-mana card. That's what I mean. Like So, like, when it's in our opener, we get to just throw it out there for super cheap later on in the game, kind of when we're playing the other stuff. Okay. Nautilus, Maokai, Thresh. I feel like I just mulligan five drops because we just have more of them. And I don't know I don't even know about Assessor. Let's just keep this reckless Trifarian and see what else we get. Alright, Omen Honk. What's up, Zoltan? Hey Rex, welcome back. Get him, birdie. Ah, uh, didn't give him the bird. Wow, reckoning. That card is great. That card is great. Except for just a tiny little spider. Nothing else can stop you, though. Well, we did just trade one for one, and we're left with a 5 2. So that's pretty awesome. Hey, high tech getting the sub. Thank you so much there, Santa Kitty Dexterity, for that gifted sub. Our first sub of the day. Um, I guess we just take the 10 and then play the Spirit Walker. Really wish we could play that thing pre-combat. That's why maybe we do need some Blades Edges in here, just because... Not being able to ever play this card pre-combat is rough. That's basically why I have... That's why I have, like, the uh, the three twos that do one damage. Round start. Because you do want to be able to play this thing pre-combat. Alright, I guess that resolves. Favorite board pet? I'm not sure. Let's see. My favorite board's probably the Freljord one. I'm not sure, but like, not really, not necessarily music wise, but looks wise, I really like the the, the Freljord one. Looks really nice. There's so many of them that are good though. I like this Noxus music. I do one thing I do wish with the boards is I wish the sound I wish the music tracks were longer. They are kind of repetitive, especially the Bilgewater one. I really like the Bilgewater one to start with, the music wise. 
It's probably my favorite music wise, but it's it's really, really competitive. I said competitive, sorry. Repetitive. <laughs> it's very repetitive. Call themselves Trifarian. What do we even do? Do we Reckoning? Do we Sejuani? I could go like Might on the Assessor and then Reckoning. And then they get one thing. So does that kill them for sure? If their one thing is like Devour the Depths, that they play that and then they get rid of my this thing that was 7 power. Then we attack in, they would have, let's see, I would have 18 attack. Gosh, and I have Elixir of Iron. Yeah, let's, so let's do this. So we're gonna go, this gets plus three, plus zero overwhelm. Reckoning. Wonder if it'd be too OP if Reckoning were fast speed. Well, nobody plays it right now. So might as well make it fast speed. Make a burst speed. Cowards. <laughs> no, Yasuo doesn't even play Reckoning. Yep, deck's going up on YouTube. I put everything up on YouTube. Here's the link to the YouTube, youtube.com slash hogtie. Dude, th for those of y'all just joining, we got more, more viewers in here. Y'all probably missed the Pirate Lux deck. That deck was sweet, and it started out awesome. Um, I'll put a link to it. It's unyielding. We did unyielding spirit with um, uh, with barrels, with powder kegs. That's what they're called, powder kegs. Why is it a private video? Did I upload it and put it to, to private or something? I did. No, make it public. Good thing I checked on that. There we go. And so that's, that's that deck. It was sweet, especially the first game. Is unyielding spirit on the powder kegs and then you just keep stacking them up <laughs> and then they just don't go away. Yeah, the Ancient Yetis could could probably go. What are we playing against? Vimerdinger? No, the decks aren't supposed to be, the videos aren't supposed to be private. Is the other video private too from today? Oh my gosh, it was? What is going on? Well, hopefully that's fixed now. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Okay, yeah, it's fixed now. Thanks, thanks for letting me know. I don't know what was going on there. Thanks, thanks, Fox. I probably would not have noticed that. Replace him with Death's Hand? No, I would want to replace him with... If you, if we want to replace the Ancient Yetis, I would want to replace it with Blade's Edge, honestly. I kind of want that one mana removal against the aggro decks, but then also a way to trigger Plunder for this guy. Just really cheap trigger Plunder. That's the card that I kind of want is Blade's Edge. That's why I'm playing the the uh, three mana three two in here, because that can that can trigger your plunder. Because the thing is, is you want to play this card pre combat. That's kind of the tough tough thing about this card. How I have it right now, you can't play it on their turn because you can't trigger plunder. And on your turn, you want to play it pre combat. You don't want to 
you don't want to play this after combat, but that's like the only opportunity I have right now to play it. Sejuani's boat's just... I think that's too slow. We fight for one Freljord. Especially with Assessor, we hopefully have good enough big things. But if if plunder is already kind of difficult to turn on, I don't really want the the boat. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. As fate wills. Hmm. Elixir of Iron is so good. They just played two Mystic Shots. They don't have a third, right? Like, they just played two. Yeah, get rid of those. Basically, I'm worried. Like, I am at 12. That's a four power elusive. Normally, I'd want to. Like, normally, I just want to play the Hearth card, but. I'm a tad worried. Wait. Best card in the game for Elixir Vine, you think? I could see that argument. Especially if you're talking non-champions. Even so, it's just the brutal efficiency and being able to keep everything alive for one spell mana, which is like less than a normal mana, just one little spell mana. Amazing. Yeah, is it non non champ? I could see it. Line up. Our deck's pretty sweet, though. Gotta admit. Noxus! I'm not sure if I want, like, all three Blades Edges. Like, maybe... Maybe, like, two Blades Edge and one Ancient Yeti. I walk my path alone. You own what you take. Yeah, exactly, such a mister. Yeah, that's yeah. I knew I knew you got that mixed up and I that's what I meant to say that, but I then got uh distracted with the game, but yeah. All right, we're going to draw 4, look for might. Be a good one to hit. This deck doesn't really play, like, Yone, so I'm, I'm not really worried about playing stuff pre-combat, because a lot of their stuff is spells anyway, so playing more threats pre-combat's not bad, especially when they're 7-7 seven, seven Overwhelms. Look for Might, look for Elixir of Iron. 
Face me, coward. This deck's pretty sweet. Get that 3 2. 60% win rate. So yeah, I think I would definitely want at least one Blade's Edge over an Ancient Yeti, and maybe two. Just kind of gives you like that that one extra little bit of damage, like for the aggro matchup, that could help out. Um, it's it's kind of nice. Blade's Edge is kind of nice. It could kind of you know it, it just pairs with like all all of your other damage outputs and everything. Um, Honestly though, like maybe maybe it's just Trim Spirit Walker. Like we're we're just not we're never actually playing this thing, are we? I don't know. Ancient Yeti did look better than this card at least. Maybe it's just play two of those, two of the maybe we just go the coward's way out and just play two of everything. And two Ancient Yetis, two Spirit Walkers, two Blades Edge. Blades Edge would make this card better. But we we're basically never able to turn it on because of like as I talked about. You can't play this on their turn because you don't have plunder. And on your turn, you could like attack first and then play this. But why do you want to play a, a huge 6-6 overwhelm that gives all of your other stuff overwhelm after combat? Like you want to play that before combat to give all of your things overwhelm. And so it was just really awkward in our deck in that scenario, especially when you kind of combine that card with Sejuani. Because Sejuani is another card that you, you don't really want to play on their turn. You want to play it on your turn before combat. So it's really awkward to have Spirit Walker and Sejuani as your top end because you don't want to play either of them on their turn. That's why like Hearth Guard's really Hearth Guard's really good because you can play that on their turn. But you don't want to play either of these cards on their turn. And so then it goes to your turn, and then you want to play Sejuani pre-combat, and then you're like, well, when when am I ever playing this card? You're welcome, Varakis. You're welcome. Uh, is Maiden in, good in this build? Yes. I So basically Maiden helps, Maiden really helps your Spirit Walker. Now we never drew Ember Maiden, but that's that's a card that can do one damage to your opponent on their turn and let you play Spirit Walker on their turn, which is awesome. Plus it's just a little mini uh, sweeper. You know, you want to keep clearing out those chump blockers, like those things that chump block your big stuff. You want to clear those out. So we never drew Ember Maiden, so I can't say exactly how good it is, but in theory, I like it a lot. I think this is a good, basically, like, mini Avalanche. Um, and also Trigger trigger Plunder on their turn, which that that's, like, the, the really important part of the card. Um, so that's something to think about, is, is putting a couple Blades Edges in, maybe over one of each of those. But... Overall, the reckoning say did pretty well, pretty well. All right, those y'all that are watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Always appreciate when y'all do that, and leave those comments. I love seeing those comments. You got comments, questions? You have any idea? You know, if you have any comments about Blades Edge um, or you know this kind of stuff, you know, throw them down there, and I, I will uh, respond. But thank you so much for watching the reckoning. And I'll see you for the next video. Sounds like a horror movie. Watching The Reckoning.